not far away. I went to visit for a day. Got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. My other kids play after school. I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. Today on Dino Squad. Caruso creates an internet show about pets and gives the pets to his dino teammates, which could be a disaster when the pets begin to mutate. They're not pets, they're future web stars. That's just what I need for my web show. They're having a big sale at Uncle Jim's Jungle Pet Menagerie. It's the largest pet store on the East Coast, and the perfect way to distribute my new batch of primordial ooze. Use this to contaminate every pet they sell. I'll track them via satellite as they propagate. You sure you want to do this, Caruso? Taking care of pets is a big responsibility. They're not pets, they're future web stars. But don't worry, I know everything I need to know about taking care of them. I had a dog once and it was easy. All my mom had to do was feed it and clean up after it. <sighs> what about these? The sign says they're half price because they've been previously owned and returned by parents whose irresponsible kids didn't take proper care of them. Talk about Hollywood star material. This guy's already got the treadmill. Hey, good looking. Pets, birdcage, fishbowl, turtle island, hamster bowl. That should cover it. Aren't you forgetting something? Hmm. Pet makeup? Pet food. Oh. Sorry, I'm over budget. But no biggie, I'm sure there's some leftover pizza. Never mind, I'll kick in for the food. And some care and feeding books in case your mom has any questions. That's very thoughtful of you. Hold it right there. Animal regulation. There's been an outbreak of, uh, pet lice. We've been ordered to spray all animals purchased. Lice? Ew! Awful! Spray away! Cool critters. Don't mess with the cast. They have very sensitive egos. Must be contagious. Makeup! We are live in five, four, three, two. Welcome, Internet fans, to Captain Caruso's Wild Animal Safari, where I, Erwin Caruso, the star of the show, will perform death-defying feats of bravery with the most dangerous beasts of the jungle. Huh? huh? Watch as I thumb wrestle the dreaded red-eared slider. Pick on someone your own size. Uh, <laughs> Uncle! Did you know that some parrots have vocabularies of nearly a thousand words? It's true! But don't worry, we're safe, because my vocabulary is even bigger, and I shall prove it by debating the treacherous Australian budgie. Uh, get a nice bird brain. Uh, well, okay, you make a good point. <laughs> I'm in a dangerous alley where frightening beasts may pop out at any moment. <gasps> Here comes one now! It's the lethal hamsterminator bowler maniac! Stay back, careful, watch those wires! That's another strike for the hamster. He beat you again, Caruso. Yeah, well, I'm gonna trounce him on the basketball court. Ow! Hey, that's my hat! Next week, I'll take you to... The Great Barrier Reef for a game of Marco Polo with the Great White Goldfish. This is the Great Erwin Caruso saying keep it real and keep your web browser tuned to Caruso's Wild Animal Safari. That was totally blockbuster awesome! Hollywood is going to be pleading to broadcast my series on network. I can see it now. My face on the tea mags, my hair on shampoo bottles. <laughs> and your ego on a blimp. You should try showing as much concern for your pets as you do for yourself, Caruso. These lights are hot. 
They'll have to get used to the bright lights if they want to be stars. Here comes the viewership report on your web show. What's the good news, Raj? A million viewers? Five million? Ten. Ten million viewers? Did you hear that? I'm a star! Uh, not ten million, Caruso. Just ten. Oof. You told me you could act. I am so disillusioned. Where are you going? What about your pets? Them? They're just a bunch of no talents. But you promised you'd be responsible for them. Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. I'll release them outside. They can take care of themselves. Oh, no, they can't, Caruso. These animals are domesticated. They can't survive in the wild. Their natural habitats are hundreds or even thousands of miles away. They won't know how to find shelter or food and won't have any species like them to travel with. They'll be all alone. Okay, fine. I'll take them back to the store. So they can sit on the discount shelf with the rest of the used pets? If you can't be responsible, we will, right, guys? Come on, help me out here. We've got to find homes for these pets. I'll take the bunny. How about you, Max? Okay, I'll keep the hamster. Maybe I can teach him how to play soccer. The turtle reminds me of my Latin teacher. Guess he won't be too much trouble. Hey, good looking. Flattery will get you everywhere. You can stay with me in the lighthouse. That leaves the goldfish for you, Buzz. I'd love to, but my folks don't let me have any more pets. That's okay, Buzz. My old friend, Mr. Toilet, will be happy to have him. What? We're taking responsibility for your pets. The least you can do is take one lonely fish. The least you can do is take one lonely fish. What an utter waste of precious time that could be used on important things, like trimming my split ends. Mr. Goldfish, I think I just found you the perfect home. Three mutant outbreaks? That's odd. There should be more. What exactly did you do at the pet store? Uh, we contaminated the pets. Of just one customer. Then we took a lunch break. Irresponsible humans. Please, Dr. Velocity, sir, give us one more chance. We'll be more responsible. And reptilian, I promise. You'd better be, or next time I'll have you for my lunch break. Prepare the helicopter. We're going to Kittery Point. Sorry I woke you, just playing with my pet hamster. Target one has disappeared. Head for the second one.
Nothing, Mikey. Just an alley cat. Go back to sleep. That's not a kitty. Yeah, I was going to surprise you in the morning, but you can have them now. What is happening? These mutants shouldn't be disappearing. Head for the last one, and hurry! What? What's the bathroom rug doing on the kitchen floor? <gasps> Bet you're hungry, big fella. How about some nice, crunchy carrots? I gotta go, Dino. Oh no. Wait, come back! There's another one. Can't you go any faster? going to believe what just happened. Let me guess. You just chilled a mutant bunny Saurus. Guys, you're not going to believe what just happened. Mutant turtle Saurus? <sighs> What's up, guys? Caruso, where's your goldfish? I took care of him. What's the big deal? The big deal is those animal regulation guys at the pet store must have been working for Velocity. They've contaminated all your pets. The pets you so irresponsibly dumped on us and Ms. Moynihan. She didn't answer the emergency call. <laughs> oh, <whoa. gasps> huh? What? Polly want a peanut? Would you mind if we de ooze your pet? I'd like that. Thank you. I'll chill, you spill. All of Caruso's animals were contaminated and Velocity's and Kittery investigating. Well, the lighthouse shielding is still working, so he won't have detected my little friend here. But if there are more mutant pets out there, we need to find them before Velocity does. Roger, we need to get those scanners working immediately. I think I found the problem. Got a mutant bogey at the Kittery Point Retirement Home. That's where my grandfather lives. I didn't realize... Didn't realize what? I was tired. I misunderstood what you were talking about. What we were talking about when? When you asked me if my goldfish was okay. But you said you took care of them. I did. I gave him a good home. Not at the retirement home. I put him in the koi pond. Caruso! Goldfish get old too, you know. I'm sorry. Sorry isn't good enough, Caruso. But we'll deal with that later. You better get to the retirement home right now, before Velocity does. Go with Fiona. I'll run defense. <gasps> Grandpa! Whoa, Fiona. What are you doing here? I was just taking a bike ride with my er, friend, Buzz. Don't you think you should go inside, Grandpa? Not before I pick up my chips. Wouldn't want to be irresponsible. Go Dino! 
Hold it right there, you overgrown sushi. Huh? What? What is that? Nothing. Let's get those chips. Yeah. I'll chill, you spill. Hold it! It's one of those perfect dinos. Get the equipment. Just what we needed. Two monsters to deal with. I'm responsible for this mess. I'll take care of my goldfish. You go, Dino, and distract Velocity and his oozer losers. A new goldfish had tiny brains, but this guy isn't even afraid of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Potato chips? Oh, no. He's hungry because I'm such a lousy pet owner, I never bothered to feed him. Caruso, chill it! I can't. If I neutralize it now, it'll revert to normal on the ground. Can I borrow those? Now don't stuff yourself. boy. Now follow Captain Caruso back to the koi pond. Okay, okay. Time to go back in your pond, Mr. Goldfish. That was awesome! Come on, Grandpa. Let's get you back to bed. Dr. Velocity's going to be proud of us for being more responsible this time and capturing a perfect dinosaur for it. If Dr. gets his claws on you perfect fools, you'll be sorry. You should have gone extinct, not the dinosaurs. You're fired! If I never see another human again, it'll be too soon. That's it. Go to sleep now. And when you wake up, you'll realize it was just a dream. I doubt that, Fiona. I thought your mom was starting to lose it when she told me you and your friends were some kind of dinosaur heroes. She told you? Of course. Your mom doesn't keep secrets from me, especially not the ones about my granddaughter's impressive talents. Now run along and go save the world. I'll be fine. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you guys. You can give the pets back. I'll take care of them. And give up my new jogging partner? Forget it. My little brother is enjoying taking care of his new turtle. No way you're getting my pet back. No. Nah. No way you're getting my pet back. Wow. Thanks, guys. I'm going to keep my new pet, too. Yes, I am, you gorgeous golden goldfish. Did I tell you I named him Caruso Jr.? I appreciate your newfound pet awareness, Caruso, but you're still going to have to make amends for all the trouble your irresponsible actions have caused. I want you to feed and take care of Rump for a month. You can start by giving him a bath. No problem, Ms. M. Washing Rump will be a breeze. Ow! <laughs> Stop it! Ah! Help! He's drenching me! Bad mutant dino dog. Bad mutant. Oh, didn't I tell you he likes to take baths in dino mode? No. <laughs> I think you left that part out. Ooh, ooh. Taking care of pets is one thing. Taking care of pet dinosaurs? Now that's a big responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle.